My friend Nicholas built a bike fitting machines for Physio Velo. Let's have a look. What's up guys, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more cycling content. Hey, what's up Nick? What's up? So, uh, finished assembling this. I reached out to uh, Physio Velo a few months back and asked him if he'd like anything special for his clinic and he reached out and said like, I'd like uh, some sort of bike fitting station that would allow to the measurement of the center of mass of cyclists. So uh, being an engineer, um, I thought- You built this. Yeah, I built this. This is the main positioning station. Uh, it's got uh, scales on each corner, so it's got one scale at the back and two scales at the front. And then this is just a wooden base uh, to allow people to step on and off. I think it'll be a nice addition for the Physio Velo's clinic. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but uh, Physio Velo's the guy uh, Charles came yep. to see for his uh, time trial fit. Yeah, I came to Physio Velo about two or three months ago. It was in August when I had my first TT bike and Christina helped a lot with my position. And I like uh, Guillaume, he's like a super cool dude too. He's the owner of Physio Velo. So why not just show his brand new toy? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing they're gonna use this pretty much every single day now. Well, so Guillaume asked me to uh, build him uh, two bike fit stations. This is the first prototype. He's gonna use it for a few months. Give me his comments and then we can like modify it if need be. Yeah. Uh, so the way it works, it's a uh, feedback roller at the back just to uh, provide a little bit of rolling resistance. And then uh, it's ad ad adjustable lengthwise. Uh, so I checked uh, with, uh, with Guillaume here uh, to see what sort of client he had. And so the smallest we can adjust it is for a 650 uh, road bike. So kind of like a kid's size road bike. And then when it's all the way at the back, we can fit a 29 inch uh, mountain, mountain bike, like Whoa. an enduro bike. Nice. So it's really adjustable lengthwise. Okay. Uh, same as for uh, the height. Uh, there's a height adjust uh, knob at the front. Uh, raise or lower the front forks. And then once you've got your uh, uh, height adjust set, then you just like lock it in place. Is it rim and disc brake? Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is um, the adapter that comes with the feedback crack. So since we're using the, the rollers at the back, might as well use the front fork adapters. Yep. So I didn't have to make those. I just, you know, made the, the, mounting, uh, option. the mounting option for it. So it's when you flip it, I think it's uh, for boost 150. So uh, one boost 110. So like the wider mountain bike forks. Yep. And then you've got the through axle options as well in here. Great. So uh, he'll be able to uh, pretty much fit all of the bikes that he wants. Although I think most of his clients are uh, like road and time trial bikes. It's still going to be like future proof if yeah, mountain exactly. bike people want to come in for a, a bike. Unless, unless they build a new bike fork standard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Great. That's nice. Uh, so there's three scales here that we yeah, see so well. We have a, a load cell. So a load cell is like an electronic scale. Uh, it works the uh, same way as a power meter does, so it's a, a strain gauge. Uh, okay. So a little electronic resistance that me measures the metal deformation. And then when you pass an electrical current through, you can like measure the mass pretty accurately. Yep. So we have um, one on each corner. Position of the front fork is always the same with, in relation to the position of the scales. So when you do a ratio of the weight that is on the front uh, scales and the weight that's on the back, uh, you can measure the center of mass of the cyclists. Well, we have the ruler here uh, that will be able to uh, gauge the position. As far as the back wheel, uh, we can also measure the percentage of mass that's on the front axle and the back axle. I don't know uh, if that's an interesting data, but we had it, so we made it. <laughs> nice. And all the information is displayed on this little screen over yeah, here. Exactly. So what does the so, bike uh, fitter is going to have like info here? So uh, we've got the little head unit that says uh, Physio Velo. Uh, these are the, the wires that connect the scales. Yep. Uh, so we have the numerical data, which is in kilograms. Uh, so then we can see I'm on the right side now. Yeah, and uh, so right is... So I've got 66 six kilos and then some kilos on the other side. Yep. Uh, so that would be my total weight. And then if I move backwards, you can see there's more weight on the back. Yep, so all the weight is in the back. And, and then uh, if I step like somewhere in the middle, you can see this number here. 
is uh, where my center of mass would be. Okay. So right now I'm at approximately... 500, uh, 498. Yeah, like my my heels are uh, my heels are on the like five five twenty five hundred. Yep, somewhere around here. What does a bike fitter do with this information? So, uh, what's the point of having the center of mass and the weight on from the left or right? What kind of adjustment are they gonna bring to the cyclist with this information? Sometimes he doesn't have a, a measurable metric when he makes a change to a cyclist and like brings the weight more forward or more backwards mm -hmm. or remove some weight from their, their handlebars. He doesn't have a before and after uh, measurement to see like if what he did actually made a change. So now with this information, he'll be able to uh, note down the, the yeah. change or the percentage of, uh, of mass that has shifted. A concrete example I think would be, let's say there's someone who's riding, who has his shoes in his arm. Let's say he always have pain in his arm or hands because he's way too forward on his handlebar. That means his weight is too into the front. So we'll be he'll be able to see that data bring the rider backwards a little bit more on the saddle or I don't know what kind of adjustment they're gonna bring, but they'll be able to measure it and show to the person or the client the right data. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the whole goal. Point. And I think uh, it's also like a, a new metric for him. So he doesn't really know what he's gonna uh, measure with this information, but yeah. uh, I think it'll be useful in the long run. Yeah. Uh, this is the last uh, part of my, uh, the, the tool. So it's a little steel thing. And I, I put some slots into the, the base and I put some magnets in the bottom just so that it, it holds a little bit better. Yep. Uh, so there's a, a slot at the back here where you can uh, measure with this uh, handy tool the height of the back wheel. Okay. And then you can place it at the front here and then whatever height you measured at the back then you set the front wheel at the same height as the as, as the, the rear back wheel. Okay. Exactly. So then your your not... fit is level. Yeah, that's really and then, useful. Uh, and then we have a, a slot on the other side where you can see uh, the position of the bottom bracket with regards to the, the front wheel. Okay. And then you can know where the center of mass compared to the bottom bracket is. Nice. Oh, that's really interesting because you do not want to do a bike fit with the. <laughs> The, the front fork to be too high or too low. And also with the with this system, uh, everything is level, everything's straight, and then he's got some concrete measurements where if someone comes back, uh, his previous setup uh, is pretty good. I mean, uh, uh, he had like a, basically a base and then he would adjust the height of the front wheel using some shims, but I think having like an exact measurement is probably a lot better. better. Yes, for sure. The last thing, yeah. uh, we have uh, this little post here. Yeah, what is I it for? I still have to uh, make a, a little uh, bracket to hold a laser. So this is a construction laser. Uh, and then you set it here. So, so and the then uh, it allows the measurement of the alignment between the kneecap and the foot. And then he can check it like on either side. So, so this will be able to slide on this. Yeah, so we'll be able to slide this on, on either side. That's really nice. Should we bring into this uh, this mount and see what it looks like? Yes. Do you need my help or you can do it alone? Yes, I need your help. I think it weighs like 45 kilos. <laughs> uh, I, I, I went with simplicity instead of, uh, of lightweightness. So this yeah. is like a 20 millimeter thick uh, aluminum plate. I think just the plate weighs like 35 kilos <laughs> plus everything else. Yeah, all right, let's put that on. Man, this looks so professional. Nick, I'm really impressed by by this. Yeah, me too. Actually, I'd, I'd never done woodworking before. It's, it's your, uh, you also did the whole woodworking. I had a, a friend that's also in our team that helped me. Uh, he's also an engineer. Yeah. And uh, his parents make coffins for a living. So he's, ah, <laughs> really? he's pretty good at woodworking. But uh, I, li I like to think I helped. Nice. It's It looks really nice, man. Yeah. Wow. And it's uh, like same color as his other stuff as well. So it's That's true. A pretty nice fit. Yep. Yeah, I'm, and the, the anodizing, like the anodizing in black makes everything look so much better. Yeah, we don't have a bike, right? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I brought it yesterday, but now it's on my Zwift. Uh, so. <laughs> it's all right. I forgot mine too. So that's really cool. Wow. So some of you might be bike fitters out there. Some of you might know bike fitters. So show this video to them. Uh, this machine will surely help them to uh, figure out a lot of information for their cyclists. Nick, if some of them want this machine, can they reach out to you and get, get one? I'll put your email in. Yeah, put my email in. 
Cool. So your email is going to be in the description. If someone like wants a machine like this, uh, just reach out to you. It's all like hand, like handmade one-off parts. Yeah. Uh, but I'm sure if someone wants it, then we can probably make it happen. Hurry up because they might stop doing those. So if you need them, reach out to Nick and it's a really nice machine. To be honest, I see it with my eyes and it's really well made. Those guys really killed it over there. So Nick, how many iterations or what was the process to build this uh, bike fitting? Uh, you work in CAD, I think. Uh, can you just give me more information about that? Yeah, so I made a 3D model. Send the Zubiru like a few ideas on the design. I met him once or twice. We discussed over uh, over the phone on like what type of thing he wants. Then basically I wanted to make it as simple as possible for the people that are going to work with it. I had the idea of the the feedback rack. One of our teammates uh, has one at the track and yes. it's always like it's super simple to adjust. So let's use that and then they got they have a really nice adapter for the front forks so it's something I don't have to design <laughs> or something I don't have to build. It's uh, aluminum extrusions cut to length and with a few holes drilled into it and the main part was uh, designing like all of the feet for the load cells and the main base plate then build everything yeah that's nice that's really nice I mean I don't have my bike today but I think I'm gonna have to come back here to Fizzo Velo I'm gonna ask Guillaume for a bike fit probably next year I'm, I'm sure he's gonna hook it up right if you guys need a bike fit check out Fizzo Velo I'm gonna leave a link to into the description if you're around the Montreal area Guillaume or his team are the best around here so definitely check them out. All right, so this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and I have a lot more cycling content coming in next few weeks that you don't want to miss out. Nick, where can people find you online? <laughs> Nicola, on, Instagram. on Instagram, right? Yeah. There's gonna be a link. Uh, that's about it. All right, this is it. So my name is Charles and I'll see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.